how did you break the news to your parents? When I told her he is actually Kamba, I knew Lisa. Kwani huku kwetu ni utiru. So kwani huku utiru yote. Jo na mtu. Eh, hao vijana wale wanakuongelea shanga huko kwa barabara. Kinya kwani na wanga hiyo. Eh, kule afani na juhuna, kule agwa kanyo. Gutina uma mudo, you know. I asked her uh, kama yeye anaweza kuwa na ulo mkikuyu. <laughs> hello, hello. Good evening, good morning and good afternoon depending with where you are watching us from. Asante sana for always sending us your love. We are very very much grateful for your support. Thank you so much. This is Kapo's Will Show and this is where we dry down our love with when we are alive but we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under neither we want our love story to be read when we are gone hoping that you had a great week yes now we can't do he imeingia bo baridi imechacha but tunashukuru mungu kwa yote it is july and we are grateful to god yes tunahesabu siku tuingia kwa uchaguzi and i pray that we are going to have peace even as we uh we go to the elections that we have peaceful elections in Jesus name there will be no civil war there will be no fights in Jesus name that is our prayer and we are going to experience the peace of God that surpasses every human understanding karibu ni sana to tonight show if you joined us last friday yes i had an amazing couple the wilsons and we left their story Honey, and you know me, there is no way undisputed Dr. Love, a whole Dr. Love <laughs> can live a love story hanging apana uloskia wapi. And so they are here to continue with that story. And uh, if you have not gotten yourself this book, you are not doing yourself justice. So kindly, there is a number running down there on your screen. You can pick that number, call and a copy is going for 1k and this book will be delivered at your location it has only five chapters chapter one talks about the purpose of marriage chapter two what makes marriage a marriage and in this chapter we talk we talk about uh, the issue of sexuality all that chapter three talks about how to how to build strong marriages chapter four talks about submission uh, in marriage and the last chapter talks about personal space in marriage when you got married haikumaanisha ati maisha yako ni simama so you also need to have that personal space in marriage and of course it must be healthy personal space in marriage what are you waiting for call that number and the book will be delivered at your location so karibu ni sana and uh, the wilsons they are here the senior pastors at House of Grace, the Karut, Palen by homeland. If you visit them, wambie niliwaona couples will. Kikombe ya chai lazima utakunywa. Hiyo ni kitu me agree. Kikombe ya chai lazima utakunywa pale. So karibuni sana. Hi guys. Hello. Hey hey. Hey, simulituacha. <laughs> Last Friday na stitches hapa. Story yenu. Manze umetoka far eh. by the grace of god by the mm. grace of god yes mm. we thank god mm. so karibuni sana mm. thank you and maybe there are some people who are watching for the first time mm. they didn't join us last friday so kindly you can do the introduction mm. all right um i'll let my wife go first okay hello viewers my name is pile i am born again i'm very delighted to be with bema tv this evening and i know that we are in for a wonderful session mm. god bless you yeah. yeah my name is pastor wilson musao movu uh, the senior pastor at House of Grace Thicker Road and I'm also um, a marriage counselor majoring with uh, family therapy mm. by as a, as a profession wow yes asante ni sana thank you even for being open you know coming to share your your story with us mm. and not just us but the whole world mm. because couples will it's international show mm. so there are people watching us from other nations so thank you so much for being open and uh, being real you see it is one thing to be open mm. it is another to be real yeah yeah True. you're so asante ni sana mm. and god bless you so much thank mm. you and so last friday tuliachia pale breaking news mm. to the parents yes 
This guy comes from Eastern Kenya and the lady comes from Mount Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> How on earth do you go and break news to the parents? How was it? Hey. Well, what an answer na yangu. Eh? Yangu ilikuwa mzito kidogo. Um, you know, of course, um, number one. <laughs> I am the first born mm-hmm. in my family. Mm-hmm. So there is no any other person who had ever married yeah. in our family mm-hmm. um, in terms of the my you know the yeah. children mm-hmm. to my father. Mm-hmm. So number one you are afraid of number one telling your father you are mm-hmm. dating. Yes. How will he even take it? And mm-hmm. you know back in the days Yadi, mm-hmm. um, parents were very strict mm-hmm. when it came to things to do with dating. Yeah. So number one breaking the news that I am seeing somebody mm-hmm. was mind boggling. Mm-hmm. A lot of anxiety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then number two, the person I am dating mm-hmm. is not even from my tribe. tribe. Mm-hmm. You get? Yeah. Um so that took me some time. Mm-hmm. So I first broke the news to my mom. Uh-huh. Yes, because she was easy. Mm-hmm to uh, break the news to. Yeah. So and yeah, I mean my mom is just very cool, mm-hmm. very calm and she, you know she's just there. Mm-hmm. So she said, "Oh, nice. Uh, so when is the wedding?" Uh, eh? Oh, yes, yeah, so that soothed my heart a little bit. I said, "Now <laughs> we are 50% done." Yes. Yes. Now I uh, asked her, "So what how do I go about that? Mm-hmm. How do I break the news to him that I am seeing somebody?" Mm-hmm. Hey. So me just talk to him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. So one evening we are having dinner so after having dinner I decided wacha nisimongeleshe kabla hajakula asikose kukula wacha nimwambie sasa ameja ameja food na kunywa maji yeah so i got a lot of confidence na nikapumua ndani alafu nikaanza ku release tu pole po ndio karoka kaache kupiga kupiga sana juu sasa hiyo unajua hata you could even see my shirt vibrate uh anyway, on, a, on a later on a later note mm-hmm. so i you know i faced my dad and i told him dad i have some news mm-hmm. yeah i need to break to you so he looked at me mm-hmm. yes and i told him that i'm seeing somebody uh what do you mean i told him yeah that i i think i want to marry mm-hmm. I want to settle down soon mm-hmm. said oh that is nice and uh, where is the girl from Aha. Uh-huh. That's question. The, the, the first, first question. question. Yes. Eh, hata si anafanya nini ama nini? Yeah. Sasa this should be good news yani yes. that I, I'm, I am married. Uh-huh. We should celebrate, we should even slaughter a goat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should now be at uh, this point should be yes. celebrating me. Yeah, celebrate me. Nimetoa miguu kwa gunia. Sasa tunaenda kwa ametoka wapi sasa? Baada ya banalisha sura kidogo atakuwa uh-huh. unajua kuna ile sura wazazi wanaekanga uh-huh. nikaa nataka kuwa mkali so uh-huh. kwanza mwambie uh-huh. so nikwambia I'm marrying I want to marry a lady from Kikuyu hey. I saw the disappointment on his face yeah. written all yes, over written, written uh, all over yeah. so you know come on that is everything okay told me uh, well um mr na sunge nitafutia mtu kutoka ukambani Oh. Tunaweza elewana lugha. Mm. Sasa shida yake ilikuwa nini? Ni lugha. <laughs> ilikuwa lugha. Uh-huh. Ataki kuongea Kiswahili mzee amekaa Nairobi sana na uh-huh. anaona kama. Uh-huh. <laughs> so uh, you know we um, we yeah, you know he agreed that um, uh, sorry he he told me that eh hapo ni naona ni kama tutaelewana sana. Mm-hmm. Eh, eh you know wasichana na hata hapo kwetu nyumbani yeah. Oh. kuna ma, we, kuna wasichana wa majirani hapo hii Nairobi imejaa wakamba hey, why don't you just go and look for somebody out there and uh, akamba out there and then you bring my way mm-hmm. we nikaona sasa hapa niko kwa shida hiyo ndio inaitwa kizungu mkuti hiyo ndio kizungu mkuti <laughs> nikasema nikamwambia dad um, this is the person that i have i'm in love with mm-hmm. and i think i like her mm-hmm. and i have had options and there were kambas there mm-hmm. but i didn't feel um like they could make a good wife mm. yeah mm. so after going th- uh, you know dating a couple of times uh, you know kambas nini mm. you know i came to realize that uh, this lady mm. would make a very good wife and you will like her dad when you see her mm-hmm. so uh, it's something 
something you know uh, some in form of encourage i started encouraging myself eh? yeah so i can also encourage him <laughs> yes. to like my girl before he even sees her <laughs> yes <laughs> so i told her that ah, she's even very beautiful <laughs> yeah and very kind <laughs> and uh, you know their family are nice people yeah you will like them <laughs> And my dad said, uh, "Okay, let's give it a shot. Let's see how it goes." Mm-hmm. Yeah, first introduce her to me, yeah. and then we see now. We <coughs> now we used to live in Burburu, mm-hmm. but my dad told me mm-hmm. I bring her to a country. Where? Ile kazi ni liko na. Eh, manzi jina mbi adad bana si unajua si tu kaburu. Eh, fair hapa manzi ata niki lipa fair ni pesa kidogo alafu si faji kazi si ni faji kazi yangu kwa rais. Ushako ni wapi? Ni Mwala. Mwala in Machakos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, um he told me you have to bring her to a country. So mm-hmm. I think he also wanted to test and see can she um, can she go to Kambani? Mm-hmm. Eh, hey, mm-hmm. is it somebody who has uh, high standards mtu mwenye pia, you know? I mean, it does can she even come? If she yeah. comes then mm-hmm. uh, that is test number one. Mm-hmm. She'll have passed. Mm-hmm. And then I will now start accepting her slowly mm-hmm. by slowly. So uh, we organized we went to a country. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was it the during the elections mm-hmm. in uh, when 207. Uh-huh. Yes, 207. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Remember we have dated now for 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 now how many years? End of second year now. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we went uh, to a country. My dad liked her. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Tukarudi hata katurudisha Nairobi mm-hmm. and uh, she we drove we went and uh, dropped her mm-hmm. in, at her place in Ofiru mm-hmm. and we went back home. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then now he accepted her. Mm-hmm. Yes. So wow. at first it was very difficult to break the news. Mm-hmm. Um he was also a bit hesitant mm-hmm. accepting a, a somebody from a different tribe. Yeah. But you know after convincing him mm-hmm. then he accepted. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Glory. Yeah. Yes. And uh your girl here. <laughs> How did you break the news to your parents? Um <clears throat> there was really no need to break any news. Mm-hmm. Because this guy used to escort me. Tukimaliza zile concerts. Huyu alijituma kanisani hadi akajituma nyumbani. Ilikuwa eh security. Kuna wanajeshi mtu anafika nyumbani bana. Wow. Akiibiwa kwa. Kwa hiyo CV alikuwa ametengeneza. Alikuwa ametengeneza CV. So alikumadhi alikuwa shamjua. By the time I introduced him to my mom and my actually my dad, he was in the company of the other five guys. Mm-hmm. So my mom alikuwa shazoya kuona hii sura na hii na hii na hii na hii. So what I needed to do is just specify and said mom Nuria. Mm-hmm. Yes. Acha nawe gine. Nuria Mwero. So um but she had questions because I also told her. You see I already had my own fears about cambas. Mm-hmm. Um so I knew that that would have an, a problem with my mom. Mm-hmm. When I told her he is actually kamba. Mm. Aliniuliza um, kwani huku kwetu ni uthiru mm. so kwani huku uthiru yote jeuna mtu eh hey, hao vijana wale wanakuongelea shanga huko kwa barabara kwa kwani na wanga hey, ya kule kwani na juhuna kule huko kanio goti na mama mudo you know mm. and uh, i was very i don't know what word to use but i was very straight in my, with my answer to my mom i asked her uh, kama yeye anaweza kuwa na ule mkikuyu. Mm-hmm. <laughs> eh. Kuna kuna mkikuyu mwenye uko naye mahali. Unipe. Uni umlete. Because was, ni sijaona. Kama uko na yeye as my mom, yeah. I would trust you. Kama uko na yeye, umlete. Hey, aliruka. Eh, hey, sina 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 ni sawa ni sawa. Kile <laughs> yeah, ah, <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Let 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 ni sawa bas. Yeah. Mm. Anipe kama uko na yeye sia anaona ni kama uko na yeye mahali mkikuyu. Wewe una shida kukubali. Mimi shida if my mom is one choosing this guy for me then mm. that has to be a very nice guy because my mom is a very nice woman. <laughs> She would not make stupid mistakes. Yes. Yeah, so I I told her wewe ungekoa wewe nake. Mrehe. Yes. Eh. Ah sha 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 sha. Na angekwambia uko na yeye. Sije. Angemwambia bam huyo ni wako. Yes. 
Uh, uh-huh. And it was easy for my dad because my dad is very quiet, very mm-hmm. calm. My dad mm-hmm. is very social, mm-hmm. and so he socializes with like everyone. Mm-hmm. My dad was my dad lives like an open book, mm-hmm. so it was very easy mm-hmm. to tell him that new you not Oh, okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, yes, yeah, yes, Rende. yes. Mm-hmm. Gary Songe. Gary Songe washa zoea. Uyu alikuwa kwe tu sana. Mm-hmm. Alikuwa na kujia kwe tu sana. Mm-hmm. Eh, so hata mwa wanajua ni kijana mzuri hey, security eh, <laughs> <laughs> he used to escort me uh-huh. he used to escort me home wow. and, and we made beautiful memories wow mm. yeah during your quest scotiana mm. mm. nice mm. Yeah. so now the introduction is done yeah. now there is now the preparation for the the wedding mm. of course there is dowry yeah mm. and um, you know i don't know whether cows and uh, cukes do the same things or there were some differences there mm. well um we were we had um i have an auntie of mine who used to live in tigoni mm. and um, you know i mean she even talks in kikuyu her sons in kikuyu everybody in their family mm. because they used to live amongst kikuyus mm-hmm. so her friends were also kikuyus mm-hmm. so most of the times uh, they used to go f- for those functions mm-hmm. za kikuyu so she got to know the you know how negotiations are done mm-hmm. in kikuyu mm-hmm. so when my family met mm-hmm. because now at some point my dad now had to mobilize our family members mm-hmm. um the brothers the sisters and then he told them that we have an event that is coming up and you know we need to prepare for it mm. so what do we expect mm. so our auntie was of much help ali to say sana so she got to tell my family mm. how kikuyus do their thing mm. so by the time we were coming mm. we had a clue mm. of what to expect mm. but of course you know uh, with uh, kikuyu traditions they they allow you to come mm fast to know home yeah mm. and then you get to know who they are mm. and what is expected mm. yeah so we had a, we had um we had a day mm. where we had to go mm. it's what they call kohada idegi or something mm. you know yeah it's like going just to mark the home and say that we have an interest here mm. and then now our family now the family got to talk to our family mm. about what is expected oh. so we went and then now we came now for mm. dowry payment after wow. some time and yes. uh, it, we didn't have a lot of challenges mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and it's not like we had much mm-hmm. yeah uh-huh. eh hey, mimi nilingia tu hapo nikahesabiwa mbuzi na masufuria na nini na vitu vingi tusuri kaisha sasa nikarudi na baadaye nikauliza mzee hizi vitu tukikosa kutaenda yeah i talked to the father eh nikamuliza dad sasa kulingana na mambo vile iko maisha ni ngumu kidogo tukae vizuri na yo truly ayuko kazini eh sasa si unihurumia yeah so you see whether uh whatever i have i can be able to bring because i had already calculated um, you know cultivated rather a good rapport and mm. relationship with the, with the father yeah mm. so we would actually even sit down discuss the bible and the like so mm. i took an advantage of that relationship ah. yes and i asked him uh, if it's okay to come you know with what i have mm. and it was very easy mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. when mobilize some resources kidogo up and apale mm-hmm. and whatever we afforded is what we brought mm-hmm. yeah and the father was so happy that mm-hmm. the daughter is actually getting wow. married and yeah. they blessed you and they blessed us mm-hmm. and um na ujue kwanza ile pesa tulipeleka tu ndio ni kama ndio walirudisha kwa harusi eh kununua gift kununua gift eh beds we nani jahe chakula you know that at some point they had also to come to our place yeah. and doing some uh, some food Mm. you see yeah yeah i i found it to be so easy and so nice mm. yeah we had um, a very easy time wow mm. yes so there were no challenges there were no challenges there, yeah. unless they were there uh, chini ya maji na tukujua uh, maybe she can tell us no 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 actually i wanted to make a comment mm. about the dowry process mm. um when you're dating mm. once you have gained confidence in your and it was the dia my mate yes fiance your fiance, <laughs> your fiance. Uh, your fiance mm. Mm. Uh, you need to cultivate a culture mm. of selling your fiancé mm. to your to family, your family. Mm. yes mm. so mimi nilikuwa namjengea jina anajijengea whenever he would escort me and come to functions Akini and stuff like that yes unamjengea nilikuwa namjenga kwetu sana mm. nikiongea na my dad mm. 
eh aku ni jenga sana but i'm not complaining so it is important for those who are dating to cultivate that culture yeah. don't expect your <clears throat> your fiance mm. akuje ku work hard you already have a relationship with your own family mm. so it's easy for you <laughs> to convince your family yes. and it's easy for him you see he's the one who convinced his dad yeah. i'm the one who told my mom mm. Mm. so that way it is easy so that yeah. the both families mm. are now ready mm. because they have both been prepared me me prepare they are mm. prepare mm. it's just that Oh. Yeah. I remember when I was uh, planning my wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, my wife pia alinijengea jina. Mm-hmm. Lakini sasa yes. siku ya dawari wazazi eh, wake after wali ah eh. wali muita baadaye akamwambia ulipicheza. Yale <laughs> 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 wale wazee walikuja. <laughs> Wamekuja na magari kubwa kubwa zimepakia hapo. Hakuna vile wazee. Wanaona tu ulipicheza. <laughs> it worked for her. Yes. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. one thing that people need to to appreciate mm. is that um, and in the, and then this is a discussion that has really been happening around yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, as a pastor uh, you know uh, who said something recently uh, pastor, pastor T. T. Yes. 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 And it was blown out of proportion. Mm. And I think he had very good intentions. Yes. Mm. Yeah, and he was mm. trying to correct some mm. some error. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So what people need to know is that you're not selling your daughter. Yeah. What if you give what if you ask for a ransom you know mm. is it and we call it a ransom yes. and, you know and you you give it and you then you said uli kunua ni menunua yes story yetu imeisha yes you will yeah. never go back home mm. if you're going there it is at my terms mm. actually i know of a couple uh-huh. mm. such scenario happened mm. this guy went akaambiwa kaisabua vitu 3m mm. 3 million and the guy said alikuwa loaded kasema it's okay mm. alitoa But do you know after they got married aliambia bibi yake wewe ni kununua nilikununua hata mm. huko utawairudi mm. atakwenda kuwasalimia i bought you and mm. you know it, it, it was too bad mm. this guy felt how what when is that in museum mtu mm. how on mm. to do that mm. and so i think it, it is something that we need to to discuss and mm. correct this mm. error mm. Mm. because it is even making many young people <coughs> to fear yes. going through the light yes. yes so it if can be marriage mm. the door negotiations were tricky eh, yeah so unapata mavijana wa church mm. kifika ni kuoa mm. kwanza ana hepa church mm. mm. juu unajua akichukua kademu waenda wakalishane hakuna yes. mtu atamuuliza alafu after and you, and you see it is very that. sad that your son mm. want to go through the light mm. but wewe ndiye unaleta giza unakuwa kikwazo mm. wewe yeah. ndiye unaleta giza yeah. mm. na jamaa anataka kutembea kwa mwangaza in fact families must get to the point where they appreciate number one mm. that their son or daughter mm. has been able to Uh, keep them updated about their lives yeah. <laughs> and what they're doing they're not doing it in the darkness mm-hmm. they're doing it in the light yes mm-hmm. and then number two, um, they should also appreciate that they can be married mm-hmm. we have seen people who are struggling mm-hmm. years upon years and they have never been they have never been able to get anybody to marry them mm-hmm. yeah so unataka kukana wasichana wako hapo mm-hmm. then wewe weka hizo rules mm-hmm. eh mm-hmm. watu watakuwa wanaona tu hivi wanasema hey huko mm-hmm. wanatakaga pesa mingi sana sisi yeah mm-hmm. so we should know that um, this thing is not about you're not buying a lady mm-hmm. you know you're not buying a, you you're not selling your daughter mm-hmm. it's a relationship you are building mm-hmm. and then you don't know about tomorrow yeah mm-hmm. um, you can fall sick as a parent mm-hmm. and the person to bail you out mm-hmm. is your son in law yes mm-hmm you get mm. so we need to be very careful mm. let us cultivate a good relationship mm. pesa pia uisha yeah. eh yeah. you know yeah. unaweza wao kwa watu wako wako loaded yeah. na anakuangalia even ashindwa ukambani maji hata ni shida na sasa mm. uh, unajua mm. Mm. pesa ndio utatusaidia hapo mbele yeah. you see but things change vindu uchenjanga vindu vindu uchenjanga <laughs> vindu uchenjanga <laughs> yes vindu uchenjanga mm. like uh, rb says yes. you know vindu uchenjanga mm. so it's good for families to know mm-hmm. that this is a relationship we are cultivating mm-hmm. and then also we should not make things hard for these people that are married. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean imagine if you ask me for 3 million and maybe it's the only savings i had. Mm-hmm. Now our daughter wako tuende tukakule ugali na sukuma. 
sasa alikuwa alikuwa na kulaga poa kwa lakini mm. kwenye alienda kwa kwa hazi mm. they cannot live well yeah why because all the money was taken by her family mm. sasa baba yake amebaki kwa mdosi milionaire mm. eh dota wake amebaki kwa pauper is that what it's, we would want to really? yeah, yeah it should not be the case mm. yeah so we <coughs> are really appreciate mm. that my i really appreciate my in-laws mm. yeah they were quite uh, receptive mm-hmm. and they accepted me with what i had mm. uh, before we leave uh, that that point eh? mm. uh, how should we strike a balance mm. because there are these people who now it's like they want to say that we are making the the, the christianity they are calling it a white a white man religion mm-hmm. and is it lack of understanding or or what is it how should we strike the balance between now the tradition, tradition and uh, really, now the yeah. christianity yes. let's let's not even call it religion mm. but christianity mm. and tradition mm. Mm. yeah i was listening to a conversation today um in the morning um on elevate tv mm-hmm. Um, Apostle Juma and um, other apostles, yeah. Apostle Kimani and the likes, they were talking about that topic. Mm. And they were saying that uh, traditions are not bad. Mm. They are good. Mm. But when where tra- traditions come to contradict the word of God, mm-hmm. then we should choose the word of God mm. over our the traditions. traditions. Mm. Yes. Mm. So what does the word of God say when it comes to certain matters? Mm. You see here, yeah, Um, there are there are places you go the traditions demand that before you get a lady mm-hmm. we have to do is like a ritual we have to slaughter goats and pour blood and we have to be facing a certain direction yeah you see and you know the others we, yes, we must go around that goat mm-hmm. singing for it you know mm-hmm. i mean all those kind of things mm-hmm. what we need to understand is that uh, when it comes to matters of blood mm-hmm. there's no any other better covenant we have in this life mm-hmm. than the covenant that Jesus Christ made with us. Mm. He shed his blood on the cross of Calvary. Mm. So every other every um every every um thing or covenant that needs blood. Mm. Blood was already shed. Yes. Yeah, so it covers all the other covenants. Mm-hmm. So when we go through Christ, mm. then we know we are well taken care of. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't need to shed any other blood. Mm. Yeah, we mwaga damu eh pikia dogizi kule kula nyama. Eh and and so we should make the word of god to be the manual we should yeah. make that, the word of god to be the manual yes. that directs our lives mm. the bible says that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge yes mm. yes and no wonder now many families are confused mm. because our foundations are wrong mm. yeah mm. remember the time you are shedding you are pouring that blood and making some funny uh, declarations and um, you know uh, conversations mm. You, you, you that covenant you're striking mm. is something that can eat up the family that is being started mm. remember we we usually say that when two people are coming together mm. is not the is not two families that are coming together it is an introduction of another family yeah. so we don't want to start this family on that foundation mm. yeah wow. so let's let the word of god guide us Amen. read the word mm. and let it be your guide and Amen. anchor yeah so let's stick to the word mm. Mm. let's stick to what does the word of god say mm. if something goes contrary to the word of yes. god mm. we leave it yes yeah. amen mm. thank you yeah and you you want to add on something uh no i didn't want but i can <laughs> it's okay <laughs> i can just give a comment mm-hmm. that um as a parent <clears throat> you need to identify why you're bringing up your children mm-hmm. yeah the main reason on what goal mm-hmm. do you have with your child mm-hmm. are you raising them up so that you can be able to sell them mm-hmm. ah. or are you raising them up so that they can become responsible adults mm-hmm. who are serving god mm-hmm. once mm-hmm. you once you already know why you're raising them up mm-hmm. then dowry negotiation what will mm-hmm. be neither here nor there mm-hmm. yeah because mm-hmm. your goal will be god your children you raising your children then becoming adults and them serving god mm. wow. yeah. Mm. yeah yeah so getting married will be like a mm. by the way mm. yeah. but the main goal is you raising your child so that they can serve they can become servants of god mm. yeah wow you should focus i agree yeah mm. not a business opportunity no. it's your biashara it's your biashara 
pia tu asentu Kenya hiyo kitu imetunini ile kitu He's releasing his grace yes mm. and will be able to get these things and understand yeah the bible says that in the last days knowledge shall increase yes it's my mm. prayer that uh, people will understand mm. um the word of god better mm. and be able to make up an informed decision mm. yeah when it comes to this dowry things mm. yep mm. thank you so much so dowry is done mm. that's any wedding yes how was the wedding hey where babe i have said to the god uh in a nutshell <clears throat> it was um bittersweet 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 Why? because mana sasa ni eastern province mm-hmm. so hata tu kwa green colors za flowers colors za eh? yellow lazima ingekuwa i got you <laughs> <Where's> <laughs> it? Uh, the basic as colors yes well kisha nzana huko kwa colors uh-huh. tunaenda all the way yeah, yeah, so that's the bittersweet eh uh, <laughs> hey, is also yes okay. Zote. I tell you. Zote. So ilibidi tu agree <laughs> kama hakuna yellow then nikalagana napenda to meet mahali. <laughs> so we had we, had to, we met uh, alikuwa anataka red ami so ikakuwa orange. So <laughs> you <laughs> orange. Eh? Okay. <laughs> yes. So that's the um the bitter part mm-hmm. and the sweet part is we got to enjoy the love that mm. that God sent people to love on us and support mm. us and stand with us and mm. pray with us and mm. you know like any god ali tufunikia sana mm. yeah we yeah. had a committee that i think to live um what is it called pre wedding mm. and we did not raise a lot of money mm. but every time god ali kwana tupatia just what we need just mm. enough wow. yeah and yeah. we had a committee that were able to navigate through you know this amount of budget to work in with what god has provided mm-hmm. and it worked out very beautifully mm-hmm. in our age mm-hmm. among our age mates mm-hmm. we were the first ones to do our wedding mm-hmm. so wale wengine wote walikuwa nyuma wakichunguli hakuna we set the yes so we were not set standard yeah. so hata sisi tulikuwa na filio pressure ya kutaka mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. but i think we were very basic yeah well, our wedding was not extravagant no Uh, because number one, um i worked i was we did our wedding in 2008 december mm-hmm. yeah. and i got employment i was employed in 2008 mm-hmm. january or february mm-hmm. around that place uh, so but in september i had lost my job and mm-hmm. remember the wedding that's, is in that same year you mm-hmm. yes now that is before you get married before yeah. before i got married mm-hmm. i had lost my job oh yes mm-hmm. so Um, now eh, pesa hatuna mm-hmm. number one kwanza ya rasho ilikuwa shida mm-hmm. so eh, ni harusi mm-hmm. you already my all my savings mm-hmm. nilipea mbuyu tukapeleka kwa kina dem mm-hmm. so now and it's not like it was much mm-hmm. so we went back to the people mm-hmm. to have them contribute for us so we had to do a, 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 a fundraiser mm-hmm a fans drive mm-hmm. we used to call it goat eating goat eating yes those days eh uh, those days na no. kuna goat na <laughs> kuna goat le le no kanua kanua nyama ya ngombe hapo bama eh scanty nyama zikwa mchele hivi na unaekewa supu mingi na kuwa baptized so um we we try to raise some money so our wedding cost us 180000 Ah yes. Mm-hmm. And um so that was money for tents, mm-hmm. money for video camera, money for photography, mm-hmm. money for venue. venue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, officiation fees, mm-hmm. you know all those kind of food. Mm-hmm. Yeah, food alone cost us 65,000. Ita kula ndio inakulanga pesa. Sasa hiyo ni nusu ya hiyo, hiyo do. So in fact we didn't have a, a camera for our wedding. Uh-huh. we didn't have both video camera and mm-hmm. still photos camera so pictures ziko so what happened was uh, the the pastor we had a pastor friend of ours who was a chairman who was running now our meetings mm-hmm. he borrowed somebody a still ah, photo camera, camera. Ah. yes 
And then also one of our friends uh, was doing videography, but he didn't have a camera. Mm-hmm. But he had to hire just like a substandard camera somewhere mm-hmm. to come and take uh, videos. Oh. So, and it was actually just a poor job done. Eh, ukaona picha zetu. Yaani we have them as yaani zikiwa tu hivyo tu. Eh nobody edited them, nobody did nothing. Hivyo tu. Yes, na kwaga tu. In fact even we don't even have many of those photos. <laughs> yeah, because um eh zingine zilikuwa zinatokea vibaya. Anybody would just take the camera and take the shots. <laughs> yeah, so they were not professionally done. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? <laughs> what I was proud of is that by the end of the day, yeah. I had my wife with <laughs> me. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So I said uh, the fact that um mm-hmm. we didn't have a camera, we didn't have uh, uh, you know video. this uh, video camera, this nice uh, decorations. Ju mm-hmm. water flowers zilikuwa very scanty. Ju yani utatoa api pesa. Unaona? Yeah. So now and you remember the you know in Kikuyu tradition we say that the b- before you do a w- with the wedding after you go and pay the dowry they also come to your place mm-hmm. and bring jahez and uh, you know some mchele and mm-hmm. something so hizo tu ndio litulitumia niliambia mbuyu eh najua kabane kuna njaa lakini wazee jo mchukue tu debe moja ama ndao moja hizo zingine wazee jo yes to wow. pick it, for between now and December by the time I'm doing my wedding eh. wacha mahindi kuwe mingi kuliko eh. kuliko beans <laughs> ndio at least we save some yeah. for the wedding wow yes mm. and uh, you know we actually um, is what we that is what we used for our wedding mm. and guess what mm-hmm. our wedding was amazing it was mm. yeah we had support mm. we our committee was um, around we, we had like 38 mm. between 38 and 50 people mm. at any given time mm. tukikaa chini hivi wow lakini tulikuwa mzoto wote yeye wote tulikuwa tuna lakini eh tukengarudia watu hapo yes <laughs> lakini those guys <laughs> yani they support and it was like this was like their wedding wow walijitolea yani kila mtu alikuwa anakufa na kazi hapo mm. yes Ah. we saw the enthusiasm the excitement mm. the zeal these guys had mm. i mean it covered the fact that we didn't have money mm. and our wedding was not that beautiful mm. yeah but but you know right now god has blessed us mm. yes and uh, it's funny sometimes we take a lot of time to concentrate on the wedding mm. and you forget after that mm. saturday yes Maisha inaanza. Maisha inaanza. <laughs> yes. So we are not prepared for the marriage. Yes. Then the way we prepared for the wedding. Yeah. So wedding in Maisha. Mm. Marriage inaanza. Yeah. How has been the journey? Hey, we. Uko na time. Uko na how many hours? Uko eh how many hours do you have? How many sessions yeah. do you want us to do? <laughs> <laughs> eh, hey. how, how was uh, how was our start? The start was amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> we were friends. Mm-hmm. We were good friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when we uh, got married, we just continued with the friendship. Mm-hmm. But then kuna sasa responsibilities zimeanza ku come. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kama kufua nguo. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. 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 Kuna tu responsibilities to kupika tumeanza ku come. Yeah. But I'm very blessed because he doesn't mind cooking. Mm-hmm. So that was not really a problem but mm-hmm. of course he cannot cook every day yeah. he mm-hmm. he will want his wife to cook for him mm-hmm. it was a whole new life mm-hmm. but our first i think maybe one and a half years mm-hmm. were okay mm-hmm. like very okay we were easily adjusting and connecting mm-hmm. uh then from there we were expecting our first child sasa kutoka hapo ndio ndio kazi ianza ku face direction yeah things started becoming a bit difficult on us mm. especially the financial part mm. Mm, because he had already lost his job yeah <clears throat> so we were like fully relying on my on my income mm. which was not really much mm. but it was enough okay how do you say it it was there but it was not really enough mm. we just had to make do mm. and um yeah so we thought about finances from the beginning from upper one year Mm-hmm. we thought about finances because i did not 
I did, I think I was, I don't know, I don't know what was happening to me, but I, there's a part of my expectations that was not being met mm -hmm. at that particular time. Mm -hmm. Because uh, when you're raising your daughters, you always tell them, yes, you, when you get married, your husband will become your security, will yeah, become your provider, provider, will become da da da. Yeah. So, yes, he's here, he's my security, mm -hmm. he would pick me from work to Nendanisha home, like a beautiful couple holding hands and mm -hmm. feeling nice. Mm -hmm. But then okay. he will know, mm hey, -hmm. mm -hmm. Mapenzi likuwa mingi. Kuna bills. Tukifika home, sasa kuna bills. Sasa hizi bills tutazidu aje. Atuwezi ilipa na kushikana mikono. Atuwezi. Atuwezi ilipa na ipete. So that was a bit of a challenge. But we got by. The other challenge was, I would say, was the duties. The duties and the responsibilities around their home. Because during the first year, kuna house help. So cousin is this. Yeah, and I am not a morning person. Yes, I am not a morning person, but I'm the one waking up to go to work. Yeah. He is a morning person. Yes, he's a morning person. So yeah, I'm going to work. Yeah, I'm going to work. 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 Jioni ni kikuja, yes, I'm tired, but I am a night owl. Yeah. So, mi nitakuwa ni kwa week. Mm -hmm. Lakini yeye, by nine, akisha kula, he's... Ivo, so, even that, adjusting to that, mm -hmm. him adjusting to making breakfast, me adjusting to cooking and stuff like that, was a bit of a struggle. Mm -hmm. And also, church, see, you see now, nimetoka ICK. ICK. Yeah, so I am now yeah, joining the charismatic. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That, yo, kublend yo, mm -hmm. was not very easy. Mm -hmm. Because we were living in Ngong, and the church was in Isili. So I have worked five days a week. Saturday to Meshinda to Kifuangu, Naku Furayana. Sunday morning. He's supposed to be in church by seven. Kuivo to by six. Ndio sisi yao tukianza safari ya Isili. That also for me was not easy. However, I used to attend the youth service at seven. But ilikuwa karibu na kwetu, not very far. So adjusting to using two matatus to get to church for me was something like completely new and I struggled. Mm. I struggled to fit in the in the Pentecostal church um, and I would feel very tired. Yeah, genuinely. Yeah. Genuinely oh, just tired. Hey, service in a car. Yes. Service to Lingia church 8 in Aisha 1, 2. Na ikiisha sasa tena they is bringing down the equipment. Yes. Tupeleke kwa bishop and get to end home. Yes. That was not easy. It was hectic. It was not easy for me. I wanted us to end the church by 8. Kama inenda sana, 11 by 12, tuko home. Tukai tu pendani. Tukua tunafika home 9. Usiku? Yes. Na kesho tena ni job. That was not easy for me. Yeah, so I don't know what was your challenges. You feel me? Yes. You know, you know, now, at this particular point, what is going through my mind is this lady is beginning to change. She, We got married and she knew that I was a minister. Yes. You see, mm. I have responsibilities in church mm. and um, I used to go to church very early in the morning. Mm. Now, all of a sudden, she's no longer interested yani, mm. in uh, coming with me that early. Mm. No, no. So, I can sense some bit of laxity mm. and um, lack of interest. Mm. So, I can say, hey, hapa, so na interest yake ya kuenda hiyo chachi kaza kupungua. In fact, it got so ugly that at some point I had to ask the bishop to release me for some time. So I go and put my house in order. Because it became a serious conflict. Because you see, I'm going to church. Mm -hmm. there's, a, there's an expectation. Mm -hmm. People expect you, you got married. Yeah. You need to mm -hmm. see with your wife. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Now, when we come to church, mm -hmm. she used to come and sit behind. Oh. And, and, you know, and you know why I'm sitting behind? Because church ni amabati. You know, you pale katikati ya, let's not say ni wapi. Yes. So church ni amabati. Joto. Sasa mi na mi na mi na shindoa na shindoa huyu mtu hii jota na zema na skia kwa ni mi sisi kwa hii atanja akola ja so isi ya isi ya where we are coming from we are coming from different backgrounds so 
um, I mean, their youth service was running from seven. Mm-hmm. They finish at nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she was free to go home. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm starting mine at seven. Seven. By three is when you are finishing. <laughs> No, she's a chat is like Gigi Villas in a guaga. Pastor and Chicago are home and I'm back. Yes. So, once a queen by a year and two hours. Two hours. Yes. Can't stop. Munaiba wants a two hours. Mm. Araza, eh, announcements, Ushuda. You know, when I'm doing a Lazima, you to cognize visitors, you call them to the front. Yeah. That was strange for her. Yeah, that was very new. Very new. Mm-hmm. But you see me, I don't even know. Mm-hmm. And I don't know what she's going through. Mm-hmm. I'm not in her shoes. Mm-hmm. In our con- communication, yes, we have done communication um, during premarital counseling. Mm-hmm. But I, I think, come on, you can't get a job. Me, I was just I looking forward to, to, eh, to, to have it. To have it. To have it. Kumbe, si kujua marriage ni shule na inaanzaga mkizama mki edu. Wakati mepewa sati. Eh. Na mkua sasa edu. Hapo nilu ya sasa kujua mtu. I am telling you. That was a nightmare for me. Mm-hmm. So we had serious conflicts mm-hmm. consistently. Mm-hmm. Every, every, uh, I used to dread Sundays. Mm-hmm. Because when Sunday comes, I'm just imagining the embarrassment of appearing in church. Mm-hmm. And, and uh, yes, and she decided not to come. Mm-hmm. Sometimes she would even decide she would come much later. Mm-hmm. You see? So that was, that was something new for me. Mm-hmm. That was not the, what I expected. Mm-hmm. So you see, unmet expectations yeah. so i was frustrated so i had to ask the bishop to release me let me ask and you guys discussed about the issue of church and mm. you planning to get married yes in fact at some point she was asking me when are you opening your ministry yeah, yeah. sasa uh, yes all of us had it now yes now in fact in fact she's even telling me i did not choose to get i did not want to get married to a pastor and he's right He's right. I used to tell him that a yes. lot. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because me, I met a musician. Mm. Oh! And I have my shorts, and my baggy shoes, and my kofia nyuma. Yeah, no, Looking no, no, really no. handsome. Eh, to get the functions and I MC, you know, like yeah. a funky guy. Mm. Yes. Then suddenly, I'm a to And from where you're coming from, Vika Z, I'm to go Yes. 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 So I felt, yeah, yeah, movement yake from being a musician to being a pastor <laughs> was very fast. Mm. And I was not prepared for your fast. Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even though I was praying for God to give me a guy who serves God in church, mm-hmm. and I accepted him because of that fact. Not to that degree. Not to that degree. Not to that extent. Mm. I you, wanted to have a husband as well. As you're having this conversation, mm. maybe this is a young man a young lady who mm. is watching us. Mm. And maybe they are, right now, they're in that mix. Ameona jamaa ana rap. Akini hajui kuna huduma iko ndani yake. Yes. Yeah. Speak, speak, to, speak to those people. Mm. You want to speak to the guys? Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I was listening to TD Jakes. Uh, I don't know whether it was today or yesterday. And um, he was saying that he used to pastor a small church somewhere else before he moved to Dallas. Mm-hmm. And that church was about 80 people. And then a prophet comes in and then he asked them, uh, if God brought 500 people, where will you take them? Mm-hmm. So what, was he, he, what he meant was, sometimes you will start things, but you don't know what is ahead. Mm-hmm. But the fact that you don't know what is ahead, you, should be, you shouldn't be afraid um, of risking. Mm-hmm. Sometimes all it takes is for you to convince yourself that I have gotten myself into something amazing. You get? Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, when, when, um, when she came, when now, after some time she got now to understand that I may have seen a musician but there is more to the music, mm-hmm. you see? Mm-hmm. So the earlier I start accepting my pastor, yeah. the better. Excuse me, I say, I'm going to 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 say, yes. So TJ had to bring himself to the level where he knows that he's stepping into the unknown, mm-hmm. but he must be ready for anything. Mm-hmm. So sometimes you will marry somebody thinking, I mean, uh, this guy will never change or, you know, nothing will change. But when you're coming into marriage, you should come with an open mind. Mm. Yes, yeah, so that you don't get surprised. Mm. Yeah, that is what I should say. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Mm. 
Yeah, and uh, me to the girls is uh, if you're entering marriage and you expect that your husband, the way he behaved in his 20s, is the same way he will behave in his 30s and is the same way he behaves in his 40s, then you're lying to yourself. Mm. This guy is evolving. Is evolving. Mm. And my advice is evolve with him. You are also evolving. So evolve with your man. Mm -hmm. Get on it with him. Yani quickly. Ukshaun ni direction. Submit, follow, kinda kinda. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Grow with mm. him. So how did you guys overcome all these conflicts? That was um, that was actually uh, it, it went on for a very long time. Mm -hmm. You know, for rather for a very long period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, because now she has decided uh, Rather, eventually she decided she's not coming to church anymore. So I used to go alone. <laughs> hey. Then I got home. I'm a Rudy St. Joseph. Because now we've moved from Gong, we've mm. come to 87. Yes. And 87 to my former church mm. was not very far. Yeah. It's a walking distance. It's, no. all, uh, but it, it's not walking, but it's, it's not, not far. as far as Isili. Yes. <laughs> you see, if you and, 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 uh, and 87, mm -hmm. they are just, you know, close by. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Moving from 87 to Isili was, it's a journey. yeah, it's a journey. Are you going to find a car working? My wife was working in Karen. Yeah. You would oh, wonder yes. whether, I don't know if you know, I'm going to get a I'm going to get a car working. I'm going to get a car working. Yes. But you see, there is, um, you know, what happens is when you get married, uh, you also come with some sense of selfishness. Because mm. you see, you're used to your own space yeah. and doing, doing you. Mm. So by the time you're adjusting to the life of, um, you're adjusting to the life of somebody different in your life, who's not even your brother, he's not your cousin, mm. he's not, you're not even closely related, mm. it becomes very diff uh, difficult. Mm. So, uh, but at some point now she had just to, uh, had to be, to get used to going to church alone. Mm. Yes, milk one and And then I got to the point where I told my, my bishop now, I think uh, I'm losing my, my family. Mm. Mm. I don't know what advice you'd give me. Mm. So he told me, uh, son, I have a lot of confidence in you. And I know God has called you into the work of the ministry. We want to protect that ministry and protect your marriage at the same time. Mm. There's no way a ministry is going. If God has called you, mm. he's going to make a way for you to minister. Wow. But for now, I want to give you an opportunity to go and take care of your family. Wow. Take three months sabbatical. Don't come to church. Mm. I love you and I am praying for you. My friend. Yes. Today, how many pastors no. will do that? Mm. Very few. Mm. Very few. Very few. Mm. Talk to pastors because yeah. you're a pastor. Mm. Yes. Um, you know, we need, uh, as pastors, we need to understand that, um, that your sons and daughters, mm. they have a life to live. Mm. So in as much as uh, you want them there to play the keyboard, to serve as ushers, to do whatever it is that they are doing. You also need to be mindful about their personal lives. Mm -hmm. Yes, God will send you other people. It doesn't mean that when your son or daughter is not coming to church because they have to take care of certain needs or issues in, in their families, it doesn't mean that you will never have anybody else to take care of that particular need that they were taking care of. Mm -hmm. So release them, give them some time off, and if God wills, he will still come back. They will still come back and continue serving. And even if they don't, God is going to send somebody to mm. fill in their gap. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So I I went. Mm -hmm. Took three months. Mm -hmm. And so uh, during that time, where do you guys used to fellowship now? Now we decided to stay at home. Mm. Ah, yeah. 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 You met me as a pastor. <laughs> now, uh, you know. But for her, yes. she met you as a musician. Well, yeah. she, yeah, she, she met me as a musician. <laughs> and she, you know, uh, I was assuming that she should automatically know that being a musician may <laughs> automatically lead to becoming a pastor. <laughs> <laughs> you see? It, it was an assumption, <laughs> you know. Uh, but we had not even talked about this. Mm. Um, but, you know, I told her that... Um, and we have been with you. You've been, you've been seeing my transformation from an artist to a youth leader to a pastor. I should by now expect that you are adjusting accordingly. Mm -hmm. But you're not. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So 
I think you want me to be staying in the house. Tukae hapa. Mm. Akasema nini? Eh hey, now she said you know that's not what she wanted. Nini eh uh, you know so and now as a, 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 it took me time before I got to understand what she meant. Mm. All she meant was um um uh, that we needed to have a common place where we can be able to go to church and grow together. You see? And then also um I think also young ministries sometimes they struggle a lot. Mm. So that kind of struggle where there's no Sunday school, Sunday school ni na na youth na nini wote wako mahali pamoja. She was also afraid that our son our, our kids at this particular point we only had one one mm. child eh? mm. uh, so she was afraid that now that we don't have a Sunday school and where she's coming from there's a Sunday school mm. then she's afraid for our son what becomes of our son. Mm. So aliona tu hiyo kazi tu she was afraid of many things and uh, she was not able to voice them out. Kumeja confusion. So he, I had to pray to understand her. So then I got to know actually what she was afraid afraid of. And then I asked God to give me patience with her and then also to give me wisdom to know how to deal with the issue. So um I calmed God calmed me down. And I asked her what would you like? She told me let's look for another church even if you're not going to SK St Joseph's where I used to go uh, and we I don't want us to go back to Christian Restoration Ministries in Isli let's look for another church so and actually I, I took the initiative and I told her you know what I mean I don't mind mm. if this is what it takes to have my family uh, to have you in my life then I would rather go down um, you know um, lower my expectations and serve your need. Wow. So, mm-hmm. I had we had to look for another church. Mm-hmm. So we had five options. So we sat down, we started drawing. <laughs> yeah, so option number 1, JCC. <laughs> option number 2, Fem. <laughs> option number 3, House of Grace. Option number 4, some funny church in uh, in uh, Safari Park. Option number 5, <laughs> you know, uh, option number 5, you know, all that we had these options. <laughs> so in one morning we drove um towards Kasarani na no, no safari park mm-hmm. uh, but when we go to safari com i felt something tell me no change the direction don't go to safari park because mm-hmm. there was a ghanaian pastor yeah. who had pitched uh, who had uh, rented a facility in safari park hotel mm-hmm. and we had gone there with had been invited before a couple of times mm-hmm. so uh, i thought that could be an option mm-hmm. but just around safari com the spirit tells me something different don't go there first Mm-hmm. go to house of grace mm-hmm. so we changed our uh, di- direction we looked uh, online we saw that they have two services and the next service starts at 11 mm-hmm. it was 11 uh, it, at 11:30 it was 11 we drove to house, house of, of grace, grace. Okay. yes when we go to house of grace uh, we were welcomed mm-hmm. we received uh, you know we were received so nicely and uh, we were there a pastor friend of mine was there he got to know that i was around after two weeks mm-hmm. he called me So you know one story led to another but at this particular point remember I am still wounded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she is also hurting. Yeah. We are we are trying to see if we can be able to recover. Mm-hmm. So uh, but I could still feel so bad that I am not silly. in silly. Mm-hmm. Because you see these are people who have who have helped me they have worked with yes. me mm-hmm. when we were doing the uh, wedding i mean they contributed mm-hmm. the bishop and the wife they are amazing people mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. so i felt like i owed everything to them mm-hmm. but it, she was not able to understand that mm-hmm. so i had to always to convince myself that you know what uh, i have to accommodate her yeah. and, I, and things are going to be okay mm-hmm. so we met a pastor there and um we were introduced to other pastors uh, now uh, but remember now we also have issues with finances we have unresolved conflicts mm-hmm. so things actually got messed up mm-hmm. we are in a new church we are enjoying the place mm-hmm. because we said let's try another sunday and another sunday and then now it became a uh, you know it became a habit mm-hmm. so thinking that the church was a problem kumbe it was not also the problem uh-huh. again mm-hmm. yeah so we had we had um, also other serious issues mm. i think the the issue to do with pastor that was not mm. sinking well um, yes because now again even after going to house of grace yeah. 
you have met this pastor friend of yours yes. so it's like now Ameanza kuingia. Ameanza yes. Mm-hmm. After now tumepata ule pastor sasa <laughs> alisema you cannot come and sit in the pews. Mm-hmm. Remember you are a pastor. Yeah. You have to mm-hmm. sit at the front. Na <laughs> yeye hiyo ana. Sasa kwanza tukaenda tukapewa kiti ya mbele. <laughs> now we don't even know the protocol. <laughs> eh hey, whether we are supposed to uh, kukaa hapo tunakaa aje na nini. <laughs> But so we went and sat there with our with our son. Na anaanza kusumbua anataka kuchukua masuiti hapo mbele. <laughs> so you are called by the wife to the pastor. Uh-huh. Eh, kasema watoto wakagi huku mbele. Wangalishe uko nyao to my wife that is something new. Uh-huh. Na shindo sasa nitakaa hapi na mtoto wangu. Na mzee wangu anataka tukae na yeye. It became now another. <laughs> so now our problems now continue to grow. Uh-huh. And now we are facing a mountain. Uh-huh. At some point she said now she's tired of this relationship. She she wants out. Ah. Uh-huh. Nilikuuliza wow. kama uko na time. Fikisha hapo. Yes. Yeah. And then now she said now she wants um, she's tired. She wants a divorce. Wait. What is making you feel like now I need a divorce because of him serving? I don't know. Like I said it's the unmet expectations. <clears throat> because me I married the musician and our life was going to be fun our life was going to be about attending concerts hata katoto kakishakuja tutakuwa tunaenda na concerts our life was going to be a fun life like our dating and our first year and second year of marriage but and remember I'm the sanguine here yes. like yeah, yeah, fun. he's a sanguine I'm a, I'm a melancholy so where is this coming from so now yeah. we have been blessed with a child Yes, that is our whole responsibility by itself. Mm. And I used to feel like he was running away from that responsibility oh. because of his church engagements, church meetings, church activities like he is gone. Like he's gone. After I stopped attending his church here in Isili, I used I went back to the ACK church and they welcomed me by the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Arms open wide with hugs and smiles. Karibu sana. And they would help me actually to carry the baby. I was comfortable. Mm-hmm. But I used to feel like I am a single mom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sinikiwa kama tatu niko kwa matatu peke yangu na mtoto. Mm-hmm. Eh, hey, akitwachia gari tuko kwa gari mimi na mtoto kwa kasi tunyuma. Mm-hmm. Who is that? It's a single mom. Mm-hmm. Where is the father to this child? A co church. Eh, hey, so hiyo picha tu yenyewe personally haikuko inatokea. Mm-hmm. So my main struggle was my my unmet expectation. So sijui kama hiyo book yako venye inaongea mambo ya kumask, alikuwa amemask, ame disguise Yeah. I'm a musician like in Kombe ni pasta. Yeah, so that integration of me accepting that he is actually a servant of God, he is a pastor and God has called him mm. into that office and me respecting and accepting that office was I think our biggest challenge. Yeah, and then the job opportunities were really for me and not for him. Mm. Yeah. So me nilikuwa na exposure ya kuenda kuona vitu watu nini ku grow Mm-hmm. financially yeye yeah, yako tu yeah, yako tu church eh hey, yako yeah. tu church bado unazidi kujituma yeah <laughs> <laughs> na kwa na peace yes hey, na kwa na kesha shereka akukua anaenda kesha so he never used to leave us in the night <laughs> he would always be at home in the night mm-hmm. but during the day he has church activities and he has engagements mm-hmm. yeah and that for me was not really working mm-hmm. so i would say that it's my unmet expectation and his lack of balance mm-hmm. yeah your ministry and now having a family mm. so as a result i decided that i am not going to have another child mm. because if huyu mmoja mimi nasumbuka ngana yeye huko peke yangu then hey what are we willing to kwa natembea single mother of two and i have a ring i'm married my mm. hubby is a pastor mm. how will that look like mm. yeah i did not subscribe to this i did not subscribe to this me i'm a career woman mm. me i'm growing in my career i'm not <laughs> kila saa hapa kwa mambo ya church na vitu kama hizo But then God really had to work on me just like your story of Jacob again I wrestled with God and of course every time you wrestle with God God wins who are you to even think that you can wrestle with God Yeah so I was that blockage I think I was a kind of blockage a kind of stumbling block mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. into his ministry life and into his growth mm-hmm. and <clears throat> I realized I think it was one of the days when I had to really evaluate the value of money and the value of a human being and i discovered i actually really cried after i realized 
that you cannot value money and jobs and things more than you can ever value even a small child. So Mimi focus yangu was gaining and you know acquiring doing 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 and I sh- and I should him. also be uh, contributing. Yeah. In fact my contribution should be kubwa uh, kuliko yeah. yake. Mm. So that we can have a house, we can have some two cars, we can have you know all those kind of things. Mm. That we can live this kind of a life. Yeah. Yeah, mm. but now me I'm spending time in church. Mm. And when I'm coming back in the evening I have nothing to show for it. Mm. You are coming with the presence of God. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so I really had to come to that place of actually realizing the value of having him. Him whether he's he's a man of God or hizo zote ni za juu. Ule aliye ndani ule wangu wa kitambo mm. is the same guy and is a good person. And I cannot imagine that I was valuing other things more than him. Mm. So I had to first accept him. Even though he's now a pastor now I had to like I've told the viewers you have to evolve with the person mm-hmm. that was my moment of starting to evolve with him mm-hmm. in his path mm-hmm. and following him and mm-hmm. submitting and being his helper and praying for him in that line that God has called him into and accepting and respecting that office Mrs. Jaito ko your office lakini tayari ameitwa and I am going to that office with him mm-hmm. it had to reach that point where I had to learn and discover for myself mm. who this guy is mm. and where God is taking him. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Hey. Wow. So <laughs> I <I'm> get <getting> lost. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's that's quite a journey. Yes. I'm told that our time is up. Mm. But before <coughs> so, mm. now that you've gone through all that. Mm and all this is being caused by ministry how should we balance ministry family and work um yes i think what we need to, to know is to learn how to strike a balance mm-hmm. yeah know that you're married your family need time mm-hmm. uh when they got when uh, you got married uh, your wife yes may be married to a pastor but before the pastor the person is Mm. So make sure you don't lose that person. Mm. Mm. Make sure you don't lose that person mm. because that is who she was attracted to. Mm. Yeah. That is who he was attracted to. Mm. So um and then in terms of striking a balance just know that you cannot be in church all the time. Yeah. Mm. There's time for church and there's time for family. Mm. So spare some time and be with your with your children. Mm. But then also on the flip side would also ask Uh, those spouses that are married to pastors to know that pastoral work mm. is a lot of work mm. because there are many things and especially when um, you are growing your gift as a pastor you want to volunteer you want to be available mm. you get because nobody wants to bank on you or has an idea to either have you as a full time pastor someday and you never have time mm. you see and this is a passion that i that, that uh, somebody has becoming a pastor. Mm-hmm. So you must also support them. Support them and understand them and also communicate that babe I am working on this. I am just asking for one 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 year, two years mm-hmm. until uh, it matures. Mm-hmm. Then we'll start I know I am supposed to be a husband, I know I'm supposed to be a friend, I know I'm supposed to be a father, but bear with me within this period of time mm-hmm. to work on this. Mm-hmm. And then after that, then I'll come back. Mm-hmm. you get uh but i'm still i'm still here you're not mm-hmm. losing me mm-hmm. you see mm-hmm. uh also having a young ministry it drains you mm-hmm. so it also calls for understanding mm-hmm. from the other side mm-hmm. that we are building something here and it may take time but it will not always be building 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 yeah. mm-hmm. so let's give ourselves time mm-hmm. and um after some time god is going to come through for us and life mm-hmm. will go back to normal mm-hmm. to normalcy yes wow. mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. what a testimony So after now God uh, dealt with you now the issue of uh, going for divorce. Kaisha. Kaisha, yeah and God also had to deal with him about finances because later he got a job. Mm. So alikuwa pia yako na tupesa but ajazoea kukuwa nazo. So his value and idea of being loaded was out of this world. 
he's running after all my, the my, my that he priorities to have. Yeah. were wrong. Uh, his priorities were wrong. So God dealt with me, but God also dealt with him mm. on the finances part. Mm. So then now we started afresh on the same page. Mm. Yeah, and that would be the same advice I would give to um, the last question that you asked. Yes, uh, mm. how to balance how between to balance, yeah. ministry and, and having a family. Mm. It's just operating from the same page. Mm. It has to be from the same page. Mm. And it is, from the, it is from the same page. You choose who you want to date. Mm. Eh? Mm. So if you choose you, you are a charismatic and you are aiming at a Catholic church girl. Mm. Be prepared. Mm. Yes. Because the Catholic church girl Amazonia mass is 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, sisi tunenanga home. Mm. Wewe unaingianga church seven, unatoka church. Holy Ghost. Haitawezekana. That mm. balance will knock. Mm. Yeah. So it's just operating from the same page. Yeah. Yeah. And, ha- you know, and also being intentional. Mm. Yeah, marriages, they don't work um, because we have a manual somewhere mm. on mm. how it should work. Mm. You have to be intentional about it. Mm your your relationship mm-hmm. yeah this person is this way i've mm-hmm. come to learn uh, you know that, that sh- she has grown like this unajua amazoya serela kamazoya mandazi amazoya smoky na sausages my lettuce si tumezoya ngwashe ah sorry tumezoya uji na ugali uji ndio ndio chai ugali ndio ugali ndio ndio mkate yes yeah so we have to understand where we are all coming from mm-hmm. and just be patient with one another until we are able to synchronize wow. our thinking. Wow. Yes, and God is going to bless us. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. Thank you. I'm feeling like we should do episode three. Lazima hii tupange. Lazima tupange. Yeah. So thank you so much for coming. Thank, thank you for having us. Yes. And uh, what also mbili ongezea ama ni... Uh, yes, yeah, we are blessed with three children. Ah. Yes, our firstborn is um, almost uh, 12. Yeah. He's almost he turns 12 in October. Yes. Am I right about it? Am I right about it? And then um, he's a boy uh, in grade 6 and then we have uh, five and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy. Mm-hmm. But now he came after almost 6 years. Mm-hmm. Almost six years. No one alikuwa mfunga chapter ya msema ataki mtoto mwingine juu already. Responsibility apa. Zimekuwa mingi. Zimekuwa mingi. Yes. Uh, but it's five years and a half. And then we have a daughter who recently came in 2020. Wow. So she's about two years and something. Wow. Yes. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So thank you so much. Thank Pass you. our love to them. We will. And uh, soon we, we are going to visit them. You're most thank welcome. You. So thank you so much for coming. The thank Lord you. bless you and the Lord bless your marriage. Amen. Thank you. So yeah. kindly follow them. See what they are doing. They are doing an amazing amazing work out there so thank you so much for joining us and if you have not gotten yourself a copy of my book couples we so kindly there's a number running down there you can call that number mm-hmm. and be able to get your copy so thank you so much for joining us my name is willie kinyash i'm a doctor love and out there they call me the undisputed and for now it is a good night god bless you and god bless your marriage this is Wema TV, the voice of hope. Go ahead.